Cruise news time. Uh, sadly, I've got another pile of cancellations, but also we got big news. The state of Texas, they're opening up. What does it mean for cruising? Let's talk about it. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to La Lida Loca. My name's Tony, here with the latest cruise news. Well, it's March the 3rd, 2021, and man, we had a wild day yesterday. It was a wild ride, uh, starting with the video all the way through the live shows. Uh, so much interaction, so much engagement, and I love it. Thank you guys for all of the feedback. We did, I got some negative feedback yesterday, and there's there's one particular piece of negative feedback that I have trouble processing, and maybe we can do a little group therapy. We can process it together. That's for all my Canadian friends. How about this? What do you do with this comment? Hey, I love all your stuff, man. I watch all your stuff. A longtime subscriber. Love it. But today's video uh, made me want to unsubscribe. Now, I get not liking the video. I got no problem with that. I get unsubscribing. I got no problem with that. What I have a problem with is if you love me a thousand times and then the first time that you don't love me, you want to leave our relationship? That's tough, man. That's Could you imagine if that's the way life with with your significant other? Man, if that's the way the world was, I'd have thousands of relationships that were broken just in one moment. Where's the grace? I'm not perfect. I'm just, I'm just kidding, man. I, you know, I'm not everybody's cup of tea on every day, but I try every day. I would love to have you back watching it. And I know there's a lot of people that are subscribed that just don't like me at all. They're just happy to hit the dislike button and to say some crazy stuff in the comments. And I'm glad to have you too, man. It takes a village, right? It takes a village to make the world go round. Let's talk about the cruise news. Here we go. Are you ready? Let's do it. It's cancellation roundup time. That's right. Virgin Voyages out of the gate. We were waiting. We were watching. Are they going to cruise in May? Well, they're not going to cruise in May. They're not going to cruise in June. They have extended their voluntary cruise ban until June the 30th, 2021. And here's the deal. If you got your cruise canceled during this time period and it was the first cruise you ever got canceled from Virgin Voyages, you know, Virgin Voyages, the cruise line that hasn't got to cruise yet, that's not... that's. It, you have to laugh or you're going to cry. Uh, yeah, so if, if you are a first-time cancellation person with Virgin Voyages, you're getting a 200% future cruise credit, so double what you paid. That's really nice. If this is the second or multiple time that you got a cruise canceled from Virgin Voyages, you're going to get a future cruise credit for whatever you got in the cruise because probably previously you got some sort of bonus. You're going to get that future cruise credit back, and standard cancellation policies will apply. Uh, again, I, I should have said it, the people that are canceled for the first time, if you don't want the 200% future cruise credit, you can get a full refund. Virgin, putting it off until July. In addition to that Virgin cancellation, we got a cruise ban being extended down under. Australia has decided to extend its international cruise ban until June the 17th, 2021. This cruise ban has been in place since March the 18th, 2020. One time it was extended until December the 17th, then it was extended to March the 17th. Now it is extended until June the 17th. Representatives for CLIA there in Australia, CLIA, the Cruise Line International Association, kind of an advocacy group for cruising. Uh, they say, we appreciate what you're doing here in Australia. Australia has done a good job keeping the citizens safe, uh, taking care of business there. And the CLIA, they've been working closely with Australia for the last four or five months, trying to develop a framework where sailing could resume. Of course, as vaccinations continue to rise in that country and cases go down, uh, it will be a much better environment for cruising. And right now, pushing that date out until June the 17th. The next story is super interesting, a story of love and hate. No, a story of cancellation and a story of rebirth. Am I building it up enough? Before we get there, let me take a moment to invite you fine folks to consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. Be a part of the local fam, this virtual cruising community. It doesn't cost anything, and the value you get is you get notified when new content comes out, and uh, you stay up to date with what's going on in cruising. That's my appeal. Please consider subscribing with the notification bell on. That way you don't miss out on any of these episodes. Thank you in advance. Let's go from Australia to the UK. 
and the big player in the UK cruise market, or a big player, let me not be too favoritistic. Is that a word? I don't think that's a word. Anyways, let's let's not show favoritism, but all I'm trying to say is P&O. P&O. When you think P&O, okay, you can think of Australia, but the UK, right? That's what I'm trying to get at. The UK have been very restricted with their cruise ban, the FCO over there. Don't cruise at all. And now P&O hitting us with a pile of cancellations. Cruises on the Arcadia, the Aurora, the Azura, the Ventura, they have been canceled to the end of August. And then on the Britannia and the Iona, they have been canceled until the end of September. So P&O canceling their cruises right on through the summer, uh, August, September, but they canceled with a promise. They canceled with a positive note. They are reworking some British only itineraries for British citizens. This does seem to be a trend. In situations where cruising is struggling to restart, the cruise to nowhere, the cruise not getting off the ship is becoming more and more an option. If we think about what's going on in Singapore, cruises to nowhere with only Singaporeans just announced the cruises out of Israel will only be with Israeli citizens. Uh, they do have some places to go. Cyprus, the Greek Isles, they'll get off the cruise ship. But uh, we saw it in Norway early on in the pandemic, cruises just around Norway. And uh, this seems to be a trend. And so P&O, uh, while they're dropping some bad news of these cancellations, they're also promising that over the summer, there will be these cruise staycations. Everything that I'm reading, these cruise staycations do seem like cruises to nowhere where the cruise ship will go up and down the coast. You'll get a little bit of that cruise life, but maybe not necessarily getting off at the port. And getting off at the port seems to be the biggest hurdle to overcome right now. How will the governments in the port look at passengers coming in, what's their vaccination status, what's the testing status, it's a pretty big hurdle. So if you can develop a cruise restart that doesn't involve getting off the cruise ship, you may have a better chance of getting cruising going than trying to make sure that you've got some place to go. Of course, that's a problem here in North America. That's a problem in the United States because we got this law that says the cruise ships can't just go cruise to nowhere. Uh, will we get an exemption? I don't know. Uh, so it's tricky. It's tricky in the United States. I really think at the end of the day that the first U.S. cruises will be cruises to private islands so that they can meet the requirement of traveling to a foreign port, but then they can also isolate the cruise passengers away from the populations of some countries that may not be ready for cruise passengers. Because if we're waiting for countries to be ready for cruise passengers, it could take a while and that could really delay the cruise restart. But yes, if you are a UK citizen, if you're a P&O cruiser, possibly you got cruises canceled today, but there is the carrot, there is the hope that uh, there will be summertime staycation cruises. I would be interested if you're one of those people, Is that does that sound appealing to you? Would you just like to get on a cruise ship and, and go around without going anywhere? Uh, leave a comment below. Now let's talk about Texas. Let's talk about what it means for cruising. Big announcement coming out of Texas. The governor there says, look, March the 10th, it's all open, baby. I don't think they do they say baby in Texas. He said it's all open. There's no capacity restrictions on the businesses. Businesses are free to operate however they want to operate. And on top of that, no mask. How about that? Let's just not let's just not have mask at all. Texas is wide open and it begs the question. Somebody asked me, "Hey, Texas is wide open. Does that mean that cruising will start out of Galveston too sweet right away? Will it start right away?" No, it won't. Florida's been open for six months. There's no, there's no trouble if you're not wearing a mask here and it's a very pro-business state and there's no cruising down here. At the end of the day, CDC continues to be the gatekeeper. There's not going to be any cruising in Florida. There's not going to be any cruising in Texas. It doesn't matter. The whole country could be open. If the CDC says there's no cruising, then there's no cruising. We continue to wait on the CDC. And what is the CDC waiting for? Well, they're waiting for these case numbers to bottom out and to not rise again. I'm gonna catch some grief for it, but I think this is a huge mistake on Texas's part. I am 100% for getting businesses back open, including the cruise business, but you gotta do it in a way that makes sense. Have all the capacity that you want. Get small businesses back in play. Get big businesses back in play. Let people go back to work, but man, put on a mask and social distance. It's not that big a deal. It strikes a compromise between uh, promoting the economy and, and trying to knock this COVID thing down while we're waiting for the vaccines to come out. Man, that, that national case count goes back up. 
We're not cruising from Texas or Florida or anywhere else. Believe that. That's the cruise news. Time for you to sound off. Kill the like button in an experiment today. Experiment. I'll just let YouTube pick the next video for you. Tell me what it is. I'm interested. Hopefully it's a La Lita Loca video. Thanks for watching. Tony with La Lita Loca. And until the next time, see you on the Lido. Hopefully. Bye.